Okie dokie. In this problem, we will be using a very similar method as we did in 1.2.3b. However, in this one, uh, we'll do something a little bit different with the information that we calculate. So uh, the first step is still the same in this problem. So we are calculating h prime and l prime using the h and l values provided. So it looks like h and l are both 2 in this case. So we're plugging in 2 into 7 times h or 7 times 2 minus 3 times h times l. All right. 7 times 2 is 14 minus 3 times 2, which is 6 times 2, which is 12. So it looks like we get 2, positive 2 for h prime. For l, we have h times l, so 2 times 2 minus 5 times 2, which is L. So we have 4 minus 10, so we get negative 6 for L prime. This is where the difference comes into play, because they ask, what would you expect regarding H of 0.1 and L of 0.1? And basically, they're asking, how would you relate H and L of 0.1 to H and L of 0? So um, let's keep in mind that H prime represents the derivative or the rate of change of H, and L prime represents the rate of change of L. So H prime, rate of change of H, L prime, rate of change of L, which means H prime has a positive. The important piece is whether they are positive or negative, really. So if H prime it has a positive rate of change at zero, what that means is if H at zero is equal to 2, and we know it has a positive rate of change, that means h of 0.1 should be greater than 2. So let's just make up a number, 2.2. It isn't necessarily going to be that, but we know it's going to be a higher number than 2. So I'll just say this as a, you know, a random case that it could be. L of 0 is equal to 2 as well. However, L prime L prime was negative 6, which means the rate of change is negative, which means L of 0 is 2, but L of 0.1 should be less than 2 because it had a negative rate of change, so making up a value, 1.8. And so basically we're just trying to uh, relate H of 0 and H of 0.1, but it looks like they have it in kind of a flipped order here compared to how I have it. So we'll just say that H of 0.1 is greater than H of 0, and L of 0.1 is less than L of 0. So we're looking for the one that corresponds most accurately to this. Looks like A looks good. D looks good so far. So H of 0.1 is greater than H of 0. In other words, 2.2 is greater than 2. And then we need the one that says L of 0.1 is less than L of 0. So it looks like option A checks out and option d does not so break out the eraser to see that a is in fact our answer so hopefully this makes some sense if you'd like to see another example worked out check out the second example